Okay, so we're gonna test out the autopilot on the piece of road that we've always been doing it right over here in Morrison. Uh, we are on, David just got the update for 17.93 the other day. So we are gonna try it now on our normal route that we've been trying it on previously, see how it does, see if there's anything better, anything worse. Just kinda see how it does. So we're gonna go do that real quick. But I need to go to the post office first. Um, I don't want to show you the other side because it's got my address. But anyway, I uh, got my custom plate acceptance in the mail today, so I'm sending that off, uh, paying for my new plate. I got a custom one that I haven't had on any of my other cars before, so that's kind of cool. And my 100D arrives in three days, I pick it up. So that's exciting. And then we'll Six, be back to- 69 hours to go. What? You, you know the hours? Yeah, don't, you don't? Isn't it three o'clock on uh, on Monday? That's two. Post office. Two? Oh, well then it's uh, 68 hours to go. Oh, I can't. Okay, that's creepy, but cool. Thank you for that. I, I was wrong. It's actually 67 hours and 44 minutes. I'm very disappointed in you. Okay, so I guess 67 hours and 44 minutes. I'll have my new car. Uh, yeah, so 100D, can't wait for it. Should be cool, and then uh, I should be getting my black arachnid rims hopefully the end of the month. David should be getting his silver arachnid rims the end of the month. So, you can't see anything right now. But we should have some cool stuff coming. Well, like you said, your 100D arrives on Monday. Mm -hmm. They already started making deliveries. I think Wednesday was like the first that I heard of 100Ds being delivered in Texas. No. But they're still not approved for sale in every state. I know that people in California, which is where they're built, actually have to wait until like the 28th of March, I think, before they can start delivering them. Yeah. And there's some other states in the East, on the East Coast that uh, won't be able to get them until the end of the month as well. Another thing during this week that uh, happened was uh, Tesla went ahead and did another like stock issue and they ended up uh, getting like $1.2 billion or something like that in new stock issuance. And I heard that Elon was buying some of the stock as well, so it oh. shows he's still, you know. Still bested. Puts his money where his mouth is, yep. And definitely believes in Tesla. Anyhow, that's money that they're going to be using for funding the Model 3 development and, you know, production, which will be ramping up in a few months. Also, speaking of the Model 3, or he answered some questions about the Model 3, and it sounds like they're not going to be building a beta version of the Model 3. So what we saw last March was the alpha version. Everyone was expecting the beta version. And it sounds like they're going straight to a release candidate. And oh, there's the cops that are waiting for us. But luckily we never saw Hi, cops. <clears throat> so no beta altogether? No beta. They're, wow. they, they're actually, when they retooled the factory, they put equipment in and they're actually already building cars using that equipment. Model 3s? So, Model 3s. Oh. So it shows that they're already that... Um, that far along. Yeah, so whatever they're building is pretty much what, what they'll be releasing. And so hopefully that will be in the next four months or so. Yeah. So what is this I heard earlier about they're getting rid of the 60 battery? Well, yeah, that's the other thing. So it kind of fits into that same timeline of that Model 3 coming out in four months is that uh, there was news today that they're going to be dropping the, the 60D and the 60 Model S. So the base model will now be the 75. And basically that just makes it so that uh, it's a little more room for upper end Model 3s and uh, to be priced out of about the, the low price of a Model S. So what, a fully loaded Model 3 is probably going to run about 60, 70,000? I could see them still overlapping some, but yeah. you'd have to have, you know, top of the line Model 3 to... Uh, That'd be a pretty pricey Model 3. Yeah. And that might, you know, some people might not want to go all the way up to 75, but... Uh, Although, I guess the Model S, if you do a base Model S versus a fully loaded top of the line P100D, it's almost double the value. Yeah. Or double the cost. Yeah. But what, but somebody did ask Elon, he was like, well, what should I get? Should, should I get a base Model S or fully loaded Model 3? And he said Model S. Because, of course, you'd rather have the top of the line, the best vehicle, if, if you can afford the same price. He said, definitely go for the Model S. And also, you'll get the Model S a lot sooner than a Model 3. Because it's going to be yeah. in four months. I mean, I'm happy with my Model S. 
yep. that I don't have anymore, but I'm getting a new one. Hmm. Are you happy with yours? Yes. Is it worth the wait? Yeah, I guess. Yeah. I was been I was waiting for years though, so I was like. Well, that's I, why I was like, is it worth the wait? That wasn't any rush. With the new 17.9.3 update for 55 miles per hour, it only works on the divided highways, so we can't test that right now, the 55 miles per hour. But we will be able to test just to see if the regular local autopilot works at the same speed or whatever. Yeah, see if there are any improvements. So yeah, hopefully it'll handle everything a little bit better. But I mean, I mean, it did a good job last time. There's just like one curve. That was really questionable. But we'll also see like what it looks like on the instrument cluster and see if it's kind of remembering the lanes a little bit better because sometimes the cars will jump around. It kind of looks like they're dancing. Um, but David's gonna go ahead and start up oh, autopilot here. Oh, okay, there we go. Okay. And now it is on. We're at 35 miles an hour, which is the, the maximum speed still for undivided highways. Undivided highways, local roads, whatever. But yeah, it did pretty well on this road last time, so I don't think it's going to have any problems this time. But it'll be interesting to see because reading online, it's it's kind of 50 50 again, where a lot of people say, oh, it does so much better than the last version. And then there's a few other people that say, it's worse. It's worse. I still see the lines jumping around it. It's now saying yeah. hold the steering wheel, so we'll go ahead and do that. that. But um, the lines, they're not really bouncing around like before. I think they're, oh, yeah, a little bit. But um, I know some people have mentioned too that it's showing more locking onto cars, which 17.72 didn't have. Mm -hmm. But I haven't seen that yet because it hasn't so, uh, stopped in front of us. So that'll be a nice perk. Is uh, Having it be able to lock on the car is more reliably. Yeah, that'll help where there's not lines. Mm -hmm. Or well-defined lines. But then you just gotta hope that the person in front of you isn't driving like a maniac or drunk and actually driving the lines. Or driving where they should be. Yeah. And I did notice when I was driving over the during the week, still with the 1772 version, that it was slowing down like whenever I would we were going up Blackhawk and there were some roads where the speed limit was lower, it would actually slow down before those turns. So oh, nice. I don't know if it was because it saw the, you know, the map and it knew that those turns were there, or if it was because it knew that the speed limit changed and so it automatically lowered the speed. It didn't go all the way down to the speed limit, but it did slow down. So, so far it's all good. And I don't know, we might have to lower it manually when we get to this curve when we're coming up to it. Yeah, we'll see how it does. But... But also Elon said that uh, version 8.1 might be 10 days away. Oh yeah, it could that, be before the end of March. That was like four days ago, so who knows, it might only be a week yeah. away. And we've been waiting a while for what that. What if I get it on my 100D? That would be cool. That'd be awesome. Okay, so here's the curve last time yeah, so I just that it took but it, towards the end we needed to take over. Yeah, so David's gonna see how it's gonna go. Ooh. It's doing oh, it. it actually, oh, it's doing better than last time. It yeah, is. That did it. Yeah, it actually worked this time. We had to take over there last time. He didn't have to take over that time. That was cool. That actually did it. And you just dropped it to what, 30? 30, and that, I had dropped yeah. it last time too, so that yeah. actually improved from- So hey, 1793, thumbs up. Clearly there have been some other improvements. Which we are kind of aware of anyway, Autopilot 2.0 is a learning machine, so the more people drive and everything, the better it will be. Okay, so now we're gonna turn around and do the loop in reverse, which we didn't do last time because we had some errands to run, but we're gonna do it this time. See how it does. I'm particularly interested in that corner. Oh, that's my phone. I'm particularly interested in that corner that last time it couldn't handle, but this time it did. That's actually pretty cool. Oh, there's a car behind us, darn it. Ah, shit. Oops, let me pull over here. Oh my God, we are, we are legit yeah. on the side of the road here. Yeah, they're like, what are they doing? They're probably like letting their car drive itself. That's what I'm doing. Yeah, we are. Can you AP it? Yeah, I, well, yeah. we're gonna wait till we, you know, we kind of miss right when we want to do the curve, unless you want to go back and do it. No, again. it's okay. I actually have Monday off from work because it's celebration day. Oh, look 
Okay, here's a bit of a curve. Oh, 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 oh. and it did it. Oh, oh, oh. Kinda, oh okay, we're kind of ping ponging back and forth no, a little bit, it, and it, that's it. It just went once on each line. It didn't go back and forth, so that was not bad. Admittedly, there was no center line for a while. Yeah. Also, a new referral program did start. I included it in my other video briefly, but just again, it is still going on. So if you want to save $1,000, feel free to use the link in the description below, but probably better off just go to the website and then you, that way you can just click it there. Or if you just order it and you get an inventory model, you can just give the code to your delivery specialist. Huge thanks to anyone that has used either mine or David's link. Super helpful. Really hope you guys enjoy your cars. Uh, very appreciative though to uh, help unlock different referral levels for us. Uh, first person to 20 in the US actually does get a fully loaded P100D either S or X. So I'm definitely trying to uh, go for that. So any help is always appreciated. So yeah, feel free to like if you enjoyed the video. Go ahead and click here to subscribe and here for more videos and we'll catch you guys later. Bye. I noticed your gas mileage wasn't that great either. It was only like 23.6 miles per gallon. I suppose. I would have expected about 25, 26, 27, but I guess the car does have about almost 204,000 miles on it, so it's... And a cassette player. And a cassette player. A yeah. cassette player.